This three-minute egg is made possible from a generous grant by Ramon, the Minnesota Jewish Arts Council. Yerushalayim, Al-Quds. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't spread my father's ashes here. Esther Ure trained in theater and primarily works as a puppeteer, but like a lot of people in theater and in the arts, she has a story to tell, and that one-woman show is on stage now through the Naked Stages program of Pillsbury House Theater. It's called The Hebrew Lesson, and it marks Esther's journey back to Israel to deliver her father's ashes. We're going to talk with Esther about her work and take a peek at some of this show on this edition, Three Minute Egg. First, we take our etzba, and we draw a line moving towards God. And then we draw a line moving away from God. In 2007, I went on a delegation to um, Israel and Palestine with interfaith peace builders. Since that time, I've felt this like really weighty responsibility to tell the story of my journey there. Part of the journey is I brought my father's ashes with me and, um, and it was, uh, but the journey was really, it, while it was the journey of spreading my father's ashes, it also even more so was a journey of learning about my history or the history of my people in a way that was more truthful than how I had been taught. I witnessed a war zone and it's something I've never, witnessed firsthand before. And while there wasn't um, like active, you know, frontline combat, um, it was an occupation. I witnessed it firsthand what an occupation looks like. It was really uh, life-changing for me. The holy day of the destruction of the temple, a day large enough to encompass our grief. Now, Tommy Dean, can you point with your etzba, po, upo, upo, where you are standing, how close or how far in relation to God? In real life, um, I am a Hebrew school teacher. I tell the story through a set of okay, seven me. Hebrew words. I sort of rejected that there was a period of time where if somebody asked if I was Jewish, I said, no, I was raised Jewish, but I'm not. Um, and I, I, was dead, I was a committed Buddhist for a while, I mean, that seems kind of funny to say, I practice Buddhism for a while is what I should say, I practice Buddhism for a while. For me, I can't separate my sense of what is just, which I think is a typical for Jews. You can't separate your sense of what is just and what is right from your spirituality. Just the act of creating the peace, for me, is a cleansing and um, I haven't, I haven't actually got to the end of it yet, but I'm, I'm assuming that once I get to the end that it's, it's a real act of, I mean, I'm on stage, but it actually, for me it is an act. I, I can't separate the fact that I'm on stage and what I'm doing and that it's also part of my life. So, like I said, it's kind of, it's an act of teshuva. It is an act of teshuva for me.